And what's going on, Pokemon fans? For Virgin I One, aka KRDK, coming at you with another deck profile. Today we will be talking about Dragonite GX. Now, just an FYI, there's not going to be any gameplay. There's not going to be any matches because TCG One is a little bugged at the moment. With Dragonite, unfortunately, we're candy can't evolve teeny into Dragonite GX. So we're once that bug gets fixed, there will be gameplay, but I just want to get this deck profile out because it's a really fun deck. I really do enjoy this. So what does it do? Well, it all revolves around Dragonite GX. 250 HP, it is a stage 2, but it is a beefy stage. It's a beefy GX. You ain't taking this thing out in one hit unless, you're, unless you hit for weakness. Even then, Guardy's got to have... Three or four energy attacks, don't worry about that. Anyway, you ain't taking this thing down easy. The primary attack here we're looking at is uh, Dragon Claw. Single lightning energy, 70 damage. Okay, that's not a bad attack for a single lightning energy. It, I mean, it, once you see, that damage does rack up pretty quickly once you, you see what we've got going. We've got, the other attack is Big Impact, Lightning, Water, Double Colorless. Turn of damage, can't attack during your next turn. Yeah, you'll use this attack every so often, but... But again, you want to really use Dragon Claw, because... And then you've got Dragon Porter GX. Put three Dragon Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench. That's actually not that bad of an attack, a GX attack. This is the only GX Pokemon you're running at the moment. You're not running any Tapu Lele, so you don't have to worry about that. Not that you would ever be able to use that anyway, but whatever. But being able to put back your Altaria, with more on that later. But, so yeah, Dragon Claw is going to be your primary attack. Again, single lightning energy for 70 damage. That's really good. Because it allows you access to, to a little something that I will be showing you here in just a second. So, we are running a 4-1-3. I know, seems a little weird, but hey, what are you going to do? You need to feel comfortable with a 4-1-4, just because you want to get that Dratini out faster. And you do have ways of recovering Dragonite GX, like, for instance, War Ball, for instance. Flip three coins for each head, put an evolution Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. And then we've also got other ways. We I'm running two rescue stretcher and that kind of deal. So the rest of the lineup, we are using the 60 damage. Or no, no, we are using the 70 damage. I mean 70 HP Dratini. was the 60 HP one. Give me a second from this. Set here. It's this one here. See, it does have wrap for a single lightning energy, so you can attack with it. I might split these two just because wrap, you know, flip a coin, 10 damage. Flip a coin, if had your attack, the Pokemon is paralyzed, so it can't buy you a turn. You never want to use. You can also use the Stratini, but here's the, here's the issue. You're never going to be able to use, you're going to use Tail Smack for 10 when you would rather use this one for 60, for, for 10 damage plus paralysis if heads. You tail up 30 damage, actually the better attack. But the thing is, is you, your primary attack is using Lightning Energy. So there's that, and you're not going to use Counter Energy in this deck, so, okay. The other Pokemon are Latias Latia Prism Star, Dreamy Mist, 30, catch a basic energy from your discard pile to each of your bench dragon Pokemon. It's not bad. Again, 138 HP, pretty good. 30 damage. A little bit flooded, and it's searchable by Nest Ball and all that. And, uh, and Mysterious Treasure, which I'm actually running four of. More on that later. But I'm running a Latios Prism Star, 50 damage, times, 
first then the Dome Hellless Tech does 50 damage for each of your evolution Pokemon uh, evolution dragon Pokemon in play. That damage racks up big time. Like we're talking huge amount of damage. Because you're running Altaria. Which Altaria from Dragon Majesty is you know, fight song. Each of your dragon Pokemon do twenty damage to do an extra 20 more damage. So you're hitting with just the two Altaria, you're hitting a hundred, you're hitting 140. Pretty good numbers. You're even at 120, you're hitting some pretty good, you're, you're hitting some pretty good things. Obviously, 130 is going to be big, 80, you're never going to attack with this thing. If you're stuck with attacking with this thing, you might as well just go ahead and scoop. I am running one Drampa. Dragon Wisdom, 20 damage, attack to basic energy from your discard pile to your dragon Pokemon, so it's energy recovery plus it's a single colorless. Uh, the Swablu, you can run really any Swablu you like. I like this one personally because you could, you could use that one for 50, it all for 50. This is I wouldn't pick this one just because 10 damage beyond. I'd rather go with either use Collect or Sing. You know, play Pokemon to sleep, or, you know, you can draw a card. But I would never go with this one. If, it, if any Swamp Blue actually had higher HP, I'd go with them. It's not worth it. Uh, one Banana Master, Instruct, Rock Solid, Energy Lineup. We're going to do that now. I'm running a single double colorless energy. Because, you know, every so often you do want to use this attack, but you, you do want to use Giga Impact at times. 200 damage is big. I uh, don't know if I'm running any choice bands. I'm not running any choice bands. I might switch that out if it changes. I'll, I'll, uh, when I eventually do the gameplay, I will do that. But if you've got a choice band attached to this, wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. You're hitting for 230 against Jax's, which will knock out Gardevoir. Oh, then in the game, the Guardian does get one hit. Knockout, right? I got you. Free Water Energy. Again, this is... I'm not running a whole lot of Water Energy. You know, it's... Again, it's for the second attack. If... Seven Lightning Energy. Could go up to eight, but I actually like... The seven lightning energy. Again, and as you'll see in a moment, once we get to our trainers, there's I've got a way of searching that. Then I'm running one, the one super boost energy uh, prism star. Provides colorless energy while this card is attached to a stage two Pokemon. Provides every type of energy, but only one at a time. If you have three or more stage two Pokemon in play. Provides every energy, but provides four energy at a time. So let's say you have three, three Dragonite. Let's say you have all three of your Dragonite in play. For boost energy, becomes a single Giga Impact or Dragon Porter. But you're waiting for even. Here's the deal, and I was saying about the choice thing. Here's the deal with Giga Impact. You're hitting for a ridiculous. You're hitting for two, two forty with with having both Altari. You're hitting for two fifty with Devour Field. You're knocking out every Pokemon that you can think of since not to resist Dragon. Something I have a weakness, but and whatever. The running two Guzma was running three. Just can't find the space. Uh, two Devour Field. Dragon and Darkness Pokemon, both yours and your opponents, do an extra 10 damage. Uh, and that's before calculating uh, weakness and resistance, but like I said, you're not hitting anything for weakness. One Lobo Ball. Uh, I really like Lobo Ball here. Flip three coins, put an evolution Pokemon from your discard pile in your hand. Can recover some Dragonites, uh, and some, or some Altarius. Uh, two Switch, you know, 
want to get them out. Two tape Liza. Shuffle draw, but also an extra switch. Um, Four Mysterious Treasure. Again, I'm not running Ultra Ball here because Mysterious Treasure is better in, in my eyes because, again, you're searching out everything except for Swabaloo and or, or Guru. You know, you, two Rescue Stretcher. Four Rare Candy. Two Lily. Two Nance Ball. Two Tanner Ball. Four Cynthia. Two Order Pad. One Volker. And yeah, this is standard stuff here. Volker is the most important, is one of the best cards in the deck because I get to search for an enemy card in a lightning energy. So I can search for, let's say, a rare candy in a lightning energy. Okay? I get Dragonite up instantly. Now I just realized I'm not playing, uh, uh, I'll have to go back to the drawing board just a little bit because I need to put max potions in here because max potions are great. You probably cut down the order pad in the... Yeah, I could probably... There's some things I can maneuver around here where I can do that. By the way, that's the deck. Again, your primary focus is Dragonite. Unless, it, unless you're here for weakness, you're not taking out Dragonite easily. That just ain't gonna happen. It's... It, in the test matches that I did do with it, if for Candy would have worked, would have done fabulously. It's a really solid deck. So yeah, I'll let you, when the bug with Red Candy gets fixed, I'll post some gameplay about it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you follow me on Twitter or Facebook. That's what we're doing, and I'll see you guys next time with another Pokemon deck profile. Take care.